What's happening, film friends? David the Film Junkie here. What the f fuck, Sony? Come on. Seriously? You pass on this? This right here? I don't know if you guys uh, caught this, but this has been circulated around. Um, Willem Dafoe basically uh, putting on a Green Goblin mask that's like full-on prosthetic. You can move the mouth. Comic book accurate. Big time. Right here. I mean, Jesus. Look at this thing. I mean, the video is creepy. Apparently, he creeped out the crew when he put it on. And that's probably why they decided not to go with this. But yes, this exists, guys. And how can we get it with the new Spidey? Well, Kevin Feige, right here. If you're going to bring in the Green Goblin, which I know they're kind of like staying away because both the previous versions of Spider-Man had the Green Goblin, but you have to have the Green Goblin some point or another because that is like his ultimate baddie, you know? Jeez. When it, you know, Spider-Man... Green Goblins, like almost, it's like Batman and Joker, pretty much. But uh, this is pretty awesome. Instead of like, you know, they, I, I can understand because it is like flat out creepy. But can you imagine like, you know, hearing that voice, that Willem Dafoe voice coming out of that face? I mean, Jesus. I, I mean, I get it. They had, they had to try to make it, make, well, I mean, they were trying to make it make sense because he had like the, the, the exosuit or the heck. And then, of course, he had the glider and everything. And it's like, okay, that's just a helmet. And he made the helmet look like a fucking crazy goblin. Yeah, sure. Honestly, yeah, fine. That's cool. He didn't have a, like a meta metamorphosis like, like, like he would normally have. He just, it was just all about a suit, which I can understand. You know, you try to translate it to movies. But, I mean, Jesus Christ, you're, you got closer with the second iteration of the Green Goblin in Spider-Man 2. He was starting to change. It just didn't work that well. I mean, but other than that, like when they were in the bell towers, oh yeah, it was just in the in the laughing and everything. It's just it really started. It really started to work. Like with that, with the metamorphosis. And if you actually had this, I mean, people would go ape shit, okay? And just throw them pumpkin bombs. Come on, <laughs> jeez, can we do this, Kevin Feige? Please. Uh, first thing down below, I'll put it on the site. On my site, if you haven't seen the video yet, it's pretty creepy, man. It's like the things that nightmares are made of. But it's just what we could have had, you know? And I'm not saying, like, uh, the first Spider-Man was bad. It has its cheesy moments. Not not as good as the second one, of course. But Willem Dafoe was a great villain. He really was a great villain, and there's a lot of good things that came out of it. I mean, I liked, I liked the battles that they had in the movie. It was really good. But it's just to have it where he was just, like, totally comic book accurate. With this freaking prosthetic mask, man. It just just shows you what could have been, man. So, yeah, anyways, guys, I'll post it on the site first thing down below. And it's just, oh, man, if we could get this in the new Spidey. Come on, we have to get this in the new Spidey. Please, Kevin Feige, make it accurate. Make it where it's a metamorphosis and you see, and he actually turns into this goblin. Please, please do that. I mean, yeah, it could be creepy, but hey, why not? All right, so let me know your thoughts about it down below, guys. Hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to the other channel, too. Follow me on the social media stuff that is floating above my head. Talk to you later.